Some people don't like me. Some people are going against me, digging beneath my feet, stabbing me in the back. It's all good. Why should you be upset? Why should you be worried? Why should you be concerned? None of my business. I love him. Maybe I'll tell him off when I see them. But in a nice way. Oh, hello, buddy. This is my greeting to you, Middle Eastern style. Habib Albi, how are you? <laughs> Don't you ever say that again. And then, I love you, bro. I love you, bro. <laughs> yeah, laugh. You need to take it easy. Laugh. Even when it's hell. Laugh. Even when it's hell. Trust in the Lord. He is known to save. He is known to deliver. And he is known to never fail. And he is known to everything he starts, he finishes. He never leaves nothing halfway. Whatever he starts, he finishes. You know why? Because God's start is the end. From the bottom of my heart, for every person that has spoken against this bishop directly, indirectly on social media platforms, from the bottom of my heart, I say to all of you, I forgive you and I love you. In Jesus' mighty name. There has never been, and I pray by the grace of the Lord Jesus, never will be anything in this heart except my prayers for you and my love for you and wishing you nothing but the best in this world and in the next one at the right hand seated in glory with Jesus Christ of Nazareth our Lord our God our Savior our Redeemer and I ask you my beloveds you who have spoken against this bishop I ask you to pray for me, but I will definitely pray for you, and I have nothing in my heart but love. This be assured of, because Jesus Christ is the only true teacher, and is the only true savior, and is the only true God revealed in the flesh that has taught me how to love those who reject, who persecute, who deny, and go against me. I love you, my beloveds. God bless you. There is nothing in my heart but the love of Christ. When we say, in the next life there is only Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there is no other God, I'm not judging. I'm not being offensive to other people who do not believe in Jesus Christ as God. No. I am simply stating the truth. Now, it's up to you. I'm not attacking. I'm not judging. I'm not discriminating. I'm not differentiating. I'm simply stating the truth which I have witnessed with my own very eyes. Period. You, you will not see anyone else. My beloved Muslim, you will not see Muhammad. I am so sorry. Believe me, I am sorry. I wish I could make you happy, but you will not. Believe me, you will not. Believe me, you will not. My dear Buddhist, you will not see Buddha. I can show you over there no more plates of oranges and apples and whatever. No more. Please give up. Give up. My dear Hindus, over three million gods, which one? Even if I wanted to discover them all, I won't have the time. Three million, when will I find out about them all? You will see one and one only waiting at the gate of heaven, who is the gate of heaven. He is the gate of heaven. He is heaven itself. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
All glory to his holy and mighty name. My sons, please, don't sell your Jesus for a club. Don't sell your Jesus for a white powder. Don't sell your Jesus for drugs, for gambling, for whatever, for men, for women. Don't sell your Jesus. Don't. Don't. Don't sell your Jesus. Jesus Christ is not Catholic, is not Orthodox, is not Protestant. Jesus Christ is God revealed in the flesh. For God's sake, let us contemplate on this. I beg you. I beg you. He is God. What Catholic? What Orthodox? The church does not hold the truth. The truth is Christ. And who is Christ according to St. Paul in his epistle to the Ephesians chapter 5? He is the head of the church. The church is the body. The body does not hold the truth. The truth is the head who is Christ. So what does the body do? The body by the grace of the head tries to draw from this truth gradually and learn from this truth the church does not hold the truth the truth is christ who is god revealed in the flesh the church is the body from the pope to the lowest rank in the church and all the faithfuls are all the body there is only one head to this church to this body and that is christ jesus and by his grace he placed popes bishops cardinals patriarchs to be leaders in the church they are not the head the head will always be christ let me tell you when you see the lord jesus face to face that the son of man yes in his glory but in his glory the glorified person the one who is perfect god and perfect man but you're gonna see a human being but this human being, you will see him in his glory, the King of kings and Lord of lords. When you see this glorified Christ, he will blow, not your mind only away, he will blow all of you away. With his beauty, with his awesomeness, with his holiness, with his brightness, with his perfection, 